Building Character is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Resilience. Yeah, if I had to sum it up in one word, I was just saying, you know, just the ability to persevere. It's a quality Tustin baseball coach Charles Chapman has seen through one of his players. Rodney Boone didn't always have it easy, but he never let adversity hold him back. He understands that things aren't given to you, um, that life's not fair. An understanding shaped by his unique past. At just 12 months old, Rodney's parents learned that their baby completely lost his hearing, something that could have been a barrier in Rodney's life, but he didn't let it limit him. I'm a perfectionist. I like to be the best I can be and just no, I try to see it as a level playing field. And each time adversity came knocking, Rodney answered, refusing to settle for a life any different than someone who did have their hearing. Most deaf kids have never heard themselves talk, so it's uh, very difficult to like, very difficult to like learn how to speak correctly. I had to really work hard to speak normal, and um, I had to go to a lot of speech classes. I got my surgery for my cochlear implant when I was five. There's like a built-in computer and like um, I have a magnet inside my head with connecting to this and it just, um, it kind of all like connects and I have microphones on here and the computer processes the sound and that's, what, that's kind of like my first memory of, uh, I don't know, I guess uh, wearing a hearing aid or an implant to hear so I could be, you know, pretty equal to others beginning to hear things he hadn't before. I had never heard airplanes in the air from the ground before and then I actually heard it like right when we stepped out. Including doubters. I've, I've dealt with some difficult kids in the past just kind of looking at it funny but I've gotten used to it over the years and, and just I, I answer the questions and you know I'm happy to. It is what it is and you just kind of have to deal with it. I actually had a coach when I was 11 tell me um, Tell my parents, he actually never told me, but he told my parents that he's letting me play all positions because he didn't think I'd be able to play a high level with uh, my hearing loss. But nothing could keep him from finding his place on the baseball diamond, a passion he found at the young age of six. And through the game, his confidence bloomed, building the student athlete he is today. Sometimes you're going to put the time and effort and it's not going to work out the way you had intended and um, you know those are the times when you, you know it displays your character. You got to kind of put your head down and grind and he does that well. He's just the type of kid that you want to coach. Um, whatever you ask him to do, he'll do. Um, he's very selfless and he's, he's handled it all the right way. And seeing everything that he's gone through, all the adversity he's faced, uh, he really embodies what we are as Marines, that tenacity, that fighting spirit that he has to when he faced, uh, comes in contact with obstacles, how he overcomes them. That's something admirable from our perspective, absolutely. Definitely puts in, in, put things into perspective, you know, looking at uh, somebody his age and where he comes from, his background, and seeing that he's already there is, is definitely admirable and definitely something that uh, we as Marines can look, look up to also. Now at 18, Rodney has won a Division I scholarship to continue playing baseball for UC Santa Barbara, an opportunity earned, fueled by a drive that he credits to his hearing loss. I don't know um, the other way it would be, like if I was hearing, I don't know how I'd be, but um, I know it's, um, it has shaped me for sure, and um, you know, I wouldn't change it. I would say it's made me a better person. Um, I'd say it's... Uh, you know, really helped me, maybe it's even helped me get the scholarship, like I, it really helps drive me, um, a lot of perseverance and, um, you know, I always like to think of the big picture because the little things, if you look at the small picture, a lot of things will get you discouraged and, um, you know, you'll beat yourself up over that if you don't sometimes keep the big picture in mind. You know, it's another part of the journey, um, but, um, to know that I've accomplished it, it uh, makes me really happy. I'm really confident in my abilities, and um, to know that I've overcome some things, it um, you know, gives me that extra boost, you know. I believe we're all products of circumstance. I mean, we're, we, we are our environment, and so the things that we deal with, um, they only enhance and make us better. So if you have some adversity, if you have some things that you have to manage through, and you find a way to, you know, find success, um, through those those trials, uh, it can only make you a better person. And despite his talent on the field, it's his character that he's recognized for. Success uh, hasn't gone to his head. He's 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 humble. 
Um, he understands that, you know, if he wants to accomplish something, he's got to work hard for it. I've mentored some other deaf kids um, and uh, parents so that they, they can see that they can, um, you know, get their speech under control and function in a classroom with other kids and play sports and just be normal. In a message that resonates. Just keep plugging away because there's always something better on the other side of whatever you're going through. Um, you know, there's always people that are going to love you and support you. There's always something you can improve on. Um, you can be normal and, um, you know, it's, um, you just want to make yourself happy and uh, I'm happy.